Okay, we're just going to be playing with a grapevine tonight. I thought I'd do something simple. Oh, I have to show you these. Because I know some people are asking. And, the, and you can't imagine the size of this by the pictures I take. But this thing is 18 by 30 inches. Isn't that gorgeous? Now what? Oh. Did it stop working? There we go. Oh. Toots! There's nobody out there. It's probably the wind. But see how loud it is? This thing is heavy. Heavy. Isn't that adorable? And it's from one of my Yorkie parents, and I have their two Yorkies in the window of the camper. And here's another one I did this weekend. My girlfriend is giving doormats away to her kids and neighbors and stuff for Christmas, so I was working a lot yesterday. <clears throat> so I just thought I'd show you those. Oh, I'm so tired of lugging them. They're heavy. Is it still working okay? You know, I'm still seeing a stream on here, so. See? And that's what I'm afraid is going to happen with my husband. He really needs one. So, yeah. Hey, Jean, how are you? Oh, good. All right. Because, like I said, it's not working very good at times. All right. I went ahead and I prepped the grapevine. I took all the loose stuff off of it. Still finding more. So I'm gonna use one of my new one of my signs for fall. It says gather. I just thought these colors complemented what I have to put in the wreath. So I think that's gonna go right in the now it's telling me interrupt it. Okay, now it's back on. Okay, whatever. Anyhow, I was bringing up all my fall decorations to decorate outside my business store, and I found a whole tube of fall items. Look at these. They have like a crushed velvet on them. Let me get them on this side, see if you can see. I have a bunch of these, so I think I'm going to put some on the website. They're actually almost 12 inches long. Right? Alright, so we're going to put some of these in there. They're supposed to resemble acorns, and I just thought they were so different. I know I don't have any in the sign, but the colors are there. So I thought we'd work with some of those. I have a little bit of everything here, so <clears throat> we can start by getting the sign in place. Let's see what I got. I had some of the tan down here. You know what? I am just going to use some of this rope. because it's natural and I don't want to use a wire. So, why not? I bet ya, I don't have my needle, which is what I would need to go through all that.
I don't know what happened. I hope you all can see me. It just like popped off. Hi, Vicky. Can you all see me okay now? I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with the internet that I can see. This twine because it's more natural it blends in better with the, uh, the wreath base I don't want to use wire so I want it to blend it's telling me video interrupted again it's gonna be that kind of night I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we'll try it again <clears throat> all right I'm using twine to put the uh, sign on instead of wire because it's it's really rustic and I want it to look and I want this to disappear in the grapevine hey Sandra I saw a couple people hop on before it died that I haven't seen in a while. I hope they find me again. If not, no biggie. They can watch the replay. <clears throat> like I said, I don't know what happened. funny it you know they keep changing stuff and it's causing little glitches like I can't even share my own video now to certain groups no high winds here it's hot 
that the puppies don't even want to be on the heat mat. They just want to be on the floor. Nope, I, there's, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's up. I was doing it to um, Missy the other day, too. Wouldn't let her see any comments. and Okay, so there's our sign. I chose items that, that match the colors in the sign. I have these real pretty acorns. Thank you, Sandra. I appreciate it. So we're going to be using those. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using sunflowers. I haven't decided yet. I've got some of this. It's fall greenery. I've got some leaves. So I thought about this big flower right here. That's a nice one to start with because look, it's got all the colors from the sign in it. I want it to go right in there. And I thought I'd start with that and then work my way out. Have you? <laughs> all right got that there. I've got this whole, I found, those of you watching earlier, I found a whole box of fall um, flowers, florals, and picks. And these I had from last year. I think I'm going to put some of these on Etsy because these are really sweet. They're like this velour fabric. It's almost 12 inches. So... I think I'm going to put some of those on. I think. Let's see. I'm just going to be sticking stuff in here and there. <clears throat> Dry fit it first. And I actually thought. I think I'm going to put like. Um, okay, I need to go a little more higher. I think I'm going to go with more than one bow. I think I'm going to do one and I think I'm going to do one here. So, in order to get my triangle of these three, <clears throat> excuse me, well, where'd it go? I think I'm going to put this one over here. all been doing good staying safe and healthy we are all getting better here we had a bad cold of some kind come through in our area and it was really bad thank you Jean hi Nancy so I think I'm going to put some of these in here. Actually, let's pull this apart. Because I only have one of these, I'm going to cut it up and make it into two. And that way, um, it won't look as though it didn't work. It's going to work really nice. Cut this. That's a trick that you can do, is you can break it up. So I thought I'd create a little section over here. <clears throat> Different than the rest of the wreath, because this is going to be on its own over here. There we go. 
just to give it a little more visual interest over here. to hit the space bar there <clears throat> okay we've got some of these we also have some leaves we also have some different fall colored flowers so we're really going to mix it up I have some of these green flowers these are called a hop bush these are called trolls. That doesn't make sense. I have those in two different colors because I thought I might need to, you know, break up some of this orange. So we've got those. We've got this. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Let me just. And these. I don't think I'm going to add those. I don't like the look of them. It looks chintzy. All right, let's work on some leaves here. Because we really want this to look fallish, if that's a word. I don't like this. Okay, we're gonna go to these. Sometimes you don't know until you try. So that's what we're doing. And see, there's a lot on this. So if you actually get one that has a bunch of stems on it, you can really cut it up and go far with it. Some of these flowers are nice. She got all kinds of colors in here. I like these. Pull some of this color out of the leaves. Put some of the hops in there. Oh, thank you, Jean. I I just want to use these. I bought these last year. And I used them sparingly, and at the end of the season, I had them all left over. <laughs> so, I found a whole tote of fall picks and stuff. So, I may end up listing some on Etsy, because, boy, are they gorgeous. Okay. Push some of this up because I'm going to save the green. No. You know what? I need to like go down in size. So I think we'll use this as the next size. And then we'll gradually work down to the smaller sizes. I think that'll be pretty. And then see we can put some of these in here. Oh yeah. Liking that. Yeah. I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to you all. <laughs> getting in the zone again. Let me see if this one looks better. Do 
too long. <coughs> okay. Then let's try and get some of this green hops in there. Whoa. I just love fall flowers, don't you? Like this. These are mums. Place this with this one. There we go. These here, is that what you're talking about, Donna? They're acorns. Is that what you meant? kind of like that in there. That's got a different texture and it kind of tones these colors down a little. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, they're acorns. In fact, I have an abundance of them I just found. So I put a link in there to my Etsy shop because I'm going to stick some of them in the Etsy shop. Because I didn't realize how many I actually had. I was hoarding them last year. <laughs> and then I decided to, to pack them away because I didn't need them. And now I've got an overabundance of them. And they're just gorgeous. They're like, um, they're almost like a velvet. Yeah, they're, I'm going to get them in there. Hopefully tomorrow. It has been absolutely insane here. Very sick last week, or the week going into the beginning of the week, and everything just went downhill. But we're all doing much better. So see, I'm just creating different um, textures here. Let me pull you in so you can see. See, I just want, I want the colors in there, but I want to kind of just do a bunch of different textures. Just sticking with the colors. Now, this is one of my signs that says gather. Now, I could have totally done um, the sunflowers and such, but I thought, you know, I've done enough sunflower stuff. Let's do something different. So that's what we're doing. They'll be in there. May not be until morning because I do have class later. So 
Oops. But I thought I'd create like an arrangement over here and use this as my third item in the triangle. See, we've got the triangle one, two, three. So I created a little patch over here by itself. And then I think I'm gonna do a bow here and a small bow here. That's the plan. If I can stop breaking the flowers. <laughs> I pull up the leaf and then I snap everything off. Getting a little over aggressive, I guess. I don't like that in there. Maddie! She sees somebody out the window. That's my baddie, Maddie. She is so nosy. All right, so see, we've got that going on. Now, I think I want to throw one of these in there and some of this. It almost looks like an amoeba. I got these at Joann's. I thought they looked really different and I knew I could use it to add some texture. Things like this, this is good filler, okay? Stuff like this is good filler. Um, and I'm graduating from sizes on the flowers. I'm starting out with a big size, but then I'm gradually working to the smaller sizes. need everything the same on both sides but you need stuff to let the eye bounce around at different heights. Does that make sense? So let me see how that looks. See so I've got this kind of popping out here. I think I can even go with a few more in here, but maybe not as long. So what I will do is I will snip them and make them shorter and then have them in here some. You see what I'm doing? You get me? That one's not going the way I want. I think I'm going downward like that. And actually, a piece of string showing, but I can go in here too. You don't want it to look like you placed them you want them to look wild so that's got kink in it yeah actually I think it'd be better off with a green one there. Did y'all have a great weekend? Thanks, Susan. If any of you are not in my um, on my Robin's Re3 page, you might want to go over there and join because. There's another sale going on in my Etsy shop over there. And that's the only place that I'm posting sale information. And you need the coupon code 
in order to get the discount. So if you're not in Robin's Wreath Signs and More, you need to go over there and join. Okay. Now, do I want to put some over here? Did I put too much over here? I think this needs to be shorter. gonna end up playing with these a while. Alright. I think I can put another one of these in there. Kind of fill that in some. There. That looks better. I think that looks good with that color, so maybe this one. It's not a website, Donna. It's another Facebook page called Robin's Wreath Signs and More. That is the only place that I post coupons to my Etsy shop. So, you might want to go over there and join I did post a link in there all right see I like this color better because it pulls the color out and there's acorns so but I think that looks kind of cute in there Good, I got a couple more left. That's just breaking up some of the yellow and just giving me more variations. And filling in some blank spots. So, and I got a couple of these so I can some of these in here or over here. Do, do, yeah. There. Oh, I'm loving it. Are you loving it as much as I'm loving it? this as filler in there. Let me see how it looks. This needs to come over this way. And then this needs to go in there. I don't know if now I can add the leaves. Let me take one off and see. Now that I have all those colors, now see, now that I have all those colors in there, this is now complementing it. Before, it wasn't. I'm just trying to make it look as fall as possible. Get all those colors in there. But I'm not liking it over there. It looks better over here. So, kind of got one, two, and let's put one up there. I know, right? That yellow is just gorgeous. Fall's like my favorite time of year. I like spring, but I love fall. I don't want that out there. So I think I'm gonna go, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 
this smaller branch off there. And then just stick some smaller ones in between. This is what happens. I start placing it and I don't glue it. Then when I have to glue it, I have to go back and pull it out. And then when I pull it out, it doesn't go back in the same way it came out. But you got a lot of texture in here. You got a lot of dimension. You got a lot of colors. Just not sure about these yet. If I have to do something with those or not. We'll see. I'm just gonna kind of stick this in here because I think that'll lend itself to this fern-like bush. Except I need it longer. Maybe this one is longer. it to go down in instead of this way I've gone in that way and that I like better do a small bow here, a small bow there. Y'all still with me? Am I still on? I know. I love these. I got these at Sims last year. You thought I hit the jackpot when I found that too. I was dancing around. The dogs thought I was crazy. here. I don't like that one there, but it still needs something here. So, I'm going to throw that in there. Let's see if we can put that one in there, just to kind of boost it. And it's nice, too, because it's bendable. See that? I can bend it. Now, this one, I think, needs to go in this way. There. I'm probably going to mess with that one a little more. And I think this would look good if it went in here. There. I don't think I want to put any of that over here. So, let's go to the bow. I might be able to put some of these in here. Oh, yes. I like that. Another little bit of texture over there. Whose idea was that? <laughs> It is, isn't it? Color-wise, it's really, really working. And this one I think I'm gonna stick in the middle because it's a different color than that one. And then I'll use this one up in here. Look at 
that. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Do you love it? I know. This screams fall, doesn't it? No, they came from they came from Michaels and they kind of they're kind of rubbery it just says fall picks they like don't give the name of it but I have two left so I may end up putting two in there we'll see all right I have my blue gun turned on and I didn't even use it yet we'll just leave that there now who who remembers how we did the that easy bow I showed you how to do? Who's been using it? Thank you, Jean. Has anybody been using it? I thought my leaves had these colors in it. And the flowers. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that bow again. Okay, I'm not sure which of these I'm gonna use. I kinda like this because it kinda resembles the border that's in here. I love this. I'm not sure if, those probably do go all right together. And then maybe this orange in there. We'll try it. If we don't like it, we rip it apart. But, <coughs> excuse me. I forgot to put my apron on, and then I just threw it on. I did tie it. Oh, cool. <coughs> okay. I sure will. Is that Donna or Diane? Donna, Donna. Okay. What we did, Donna, we left a 12 inch tail. Okay. And we just gathered it up there. And then we did, I think we started out with six inch loop. Now, when I say six inch loop, the loop measures from one to six here. Okay. So what they actually did was they took three of each one that they used, all right? So all you do is 12 inch tail, gather it here, make your six inch loop, now I'm just putting it in here for now and then I will show you the order that we went in. So I'm just cutting these first. I haven't seen any wreaths, Susan. Have you been busy or slowed down? Okay, so we've got three of that one. All right. <clears throat> Now let's, let's, I'm kind of not liking that orange now. I'm kind of liking these three together. So let's ditch the orange. All right, now with this one, we're still going to do a 12 inch tail, but we're going to back this down to like five and a half inches. So put your little little scrunched up section there and then gather it up and cut. Again, I'm just going to place it in there for now. Now we're going to do another one. 12 inch loop, gather, five and a half inch and gather and cut. Oh, no. 
12 inch feather. I might need the orange to break up. Wait a minute. I'm looking to see if I have any two inch ribbon that I can, two and a half inch, that I might want to put in there. You know me, I always like my tan colors. So that's three of that one. Um, I'm not finding one I like. Let me see. a little darker on the bottom. Let's see if that let's go a little darker on the bottom. So I will do this one get my 12 inch tail. I'm going to do this one at 5. I'm going to leave that one there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make this a five inch. I need something to break up this from that. And I think the brown's gonna do it. go up, come back down, scrunch it at five, and trim. <clears throat> One more. So what I'm actually doing is I'm graduating down from size a half inch each time, and I'm cutting three of each one. how now with the brown this is breaking that up that pattern so again we got 12 inch now we're going to go down I think I'm going to stay at five now <clears throat> so we got five Put that there are for holding purposes and see that is pulling this out of the sign five when I did this which I saw somebody else online do it I shared it with everybody and we had a contest everybody was freaking out about how easy this bow was five that's why these mats come in handy for measuring all right now we're going to pull this out because what I'm going to do now is we're going to layer. So this was the first one we cut. This was the second one we cut. So you're just laying them on top of each other. Can y'all see this okay? Here, let me move you over some. There. So then we did the brown next. So we're pulling out the brown and we're putting that in place. And then we did the checker. So you're just layering in the order you cut. So there's that one. Here's this one. <clears throat> Here 
here's this one. And this one. And then see my last ones here are all in order. Pull that through so everything's where it needs to be. All right? So basically you just layered everything in the order you wanted them. Easy peasy. Now we're gonna pull this out. And now we are going to use my tinsel tie. Now you're not gonna be turning the tinsel tie, you're just gonna be turning the ribbon while you're holding this firm so you can get it as tight as possible. All right? Now, I'm gonna go back first. There's my big scissors. Oh, come on. Well, here they are. I'm gonna go back now and I'm gonna dovetail all the ends. So you have four ribbon uh, variations in here, and you cut three of each one. And each one you just downsized the size by a half inch, except I kept the brown one and the green one the same color. I mean the same size. So we're just going back and dovetailing everything. This is by far the easiest bow I have ever seen. I know it has several names, but the lady I watched, she called it the bestie bow. And there are other wreath makers out there that make it. In fact, I know there's one out there that was named after her, but I can't for the life of me remember right now. Okay, we got all the big ribbon. Now let's do the little. Now I see some spots in here, so I'm going to have to go back when I'm gluing and I'm going to have to rearrange a little, but you kind of get the idea. I kind of like the visual interest of the big flower in the middle and then building around it. I may not do it the way other people do it, but that's the way I do it. It's not always the right way, but it's how I, how I do it. <clears throat> okay, we're almost done. This is the tedious part. And I probably should do it as I put it in the bow holder, but and this is a Bodabra. Willie and Steve felt bad for me because <laughs> my old Bodabra I had sat on. It was my girlfriend's. I sat on it. I bought her a new one. And I kept her old one. So they felt sorry for me and they went and shipped me a Bodabra. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to put this in here. And see with the tinsel tie, it really is easy to get it through the wreath. You don't need a needle. I have tinsel ties for sale too. It comes in like 26 foot or 29 foot. Okay. Now, this is your bow. All you're going to do is fan everything out. some of these on the bottom. <clears throat> That's all you do. You know how to fan it out. You're just pushing your fingers in there and open them up. Using the brown to break up these two colors. That's all you do. Now, 
you can if you have really good good wired ribbon it's gonna fall into place really well for you by doing this I think we achieved all the colors in this bow Aww, thank you oh, I can't wait to see it Susan I just love these colors together it's all the colors in the wreath now I know some of you have tried this method because you were watching when I did it but has this method helped anybody that's newly watching like did you find that easier are you going to give it a try? There we go. Look at that bow. It's Bodabra. It's Bodabulous. I think I'll just do just do a small hand one up here I think I'm gonna leave off the leaves and just walk work off the other ones great Jeannie all right Donna now if you're gonna try it you have to show us a picture so you have to put it on my re3 page or send it to me and I'll put it there. We love seeing everybody's stuff. I'm going back to my uh, two tails on one side and two loops on the other side, though. I like that one. In fact, wait a minute, I'm going to put this on the bottom. Y'all remember that day we were doing this bow, Missy was on, and Missy, if you're listening, girlfriend, she likes to start out with putting a one and a half inch in between the two and a half inches. She says it gives her bows more dimension. So, I got two loops on one side, one on this side, and the two tails. Then we're going to flip this one to this side, like that. Then, we're going to go back to the green check. Yes, I know. You had, you and of several others, Jean, made that comment of how much easier it was for you. And when I saw it, because I don't know who it was that was saying... I'm struggling with bows. So we needed to come up with something to help. And that's what we did. Now, I don't know, this may be too big for here. I may end up cutting it down. Let's see. Eh, maybe not. I'll just cut the tails real short. Do some more tinsel tie. You know I don't use, I don't, if I can at all help it, I will not use pipe cleaners. They rust out and break so easily in the weather. This stuff holds up like cement. It is so stiff. Alright. And it goes right through the wreath don't need a needle because it's like a needle itself okay I need to go down just a little bit more this way there we go
definitely going to cut the tails. There. there. Okay. That was crooked. We don't like crooked. Could have used a shorter tail. It hurts to waste that much. <laughs> All right, where's the other tail? There it is. All right, let me look at it from this angle. Looking a little lopsided. So your bows do not have to be complicated. Using that method, it's easy peasy. Right, Jean? That loop ended up a little too big. So let's see which one I pull on and get it to come out a little. There we go. That's better. That was bothering me. This bothered me too. Yeah. Where is that hiding? This I'm going to have to shorten. Well, I'm not liking that. There. Woo! That was too big. Come on now. There we go. Now, how am I going to pull that one out? Well, that pulls that one. There. That pulls that down. And then this pulls that. Nope other one. There. Now it's where I want it. Jeez. There. Much better. Okay. What do you think? We're done. This, I'm going to have to move up a little more. It's too droopy for me. It's got to come up like about there. But a little, up a little more and over just a tiny bit. Anybody have any questions? Oh, thank you, Jean. Thank you, Susan. 
yeah it wow definitely like i said gonna put some of these picks in my in my shop because i have so many of them and didn't realize it and i was scrounging for sunflowers and look i found a whole sunflower bush this came from um sims and oh their sunflowers are amazing yeah this needs to come up a little and be tightened down some more but and for those that jumped on it afterwards after the first two takes here's one of the items i worked on today i'm printing doormats now this was for a customer um, she has two yorkies for me and the little yorkies are in the window of her camper so i have that one i haven't listed any on etsy yet because i'm trying to um get more of them they're really hard to get they're really heavy um solid and i also spray these with a uv protectant which keeps them from fading and uh, really keeps them nice but they're heavy i know isn't it oh she was she was so excited to see that now i have to do some little dog tags for the dogs um they're gone on their last camping trip this weekend so so yeah busy busy yes don't they it just sits in there and becomes part of the wreath and see you don't have to have and i could have gotten away with just the one bow here too this does not have to meet the bow it just happened to meet the bow um you do not you know i could have ended the wreath right here and just put this big bow right here but see i wanted the emphasis on the sign too so that's why i put it in the middle and i used twine to put it in the wreath i didn't use floral wire because this this is like you know disappears in the grapevine oh thanks Jeannie. I, you know, <laughs> I know I've told you guys this so many times. I never list my wreaths. I just don't. And they've been selling right out of the store. <laughs> so that's, that's awesome. So I will, I will list those hopefully by tomorrow. They're so heavy, Jean. Oh my gosh, I must have did, okay, um, I must have did uh, six or seven of them yesterday, and then I did the um, camper one this morning, put it on my Facebook page, and got another order for another one. I can't show the first one I did because it's a present for someone. I'll be able to show it after this weekend, so, but yeah. I hope I answered all your questions. I so appreciate you coming back and finding me. Um, that That's really cool. I really appreciate the support. All right, you have a great evening. Thanks for joining me. Stay safe and find something to laugh about. <laughs> You gotta. It's just too, too depressing. We gotta laugh. We gotta laugh more. We gotta have some fun. All right. Good night and thank you.